it shaves. I was disappointed in Ranma Nibun Noichi. I enjoyed it well enough, but this was not my first Rumiko Takahashi. And I haven't seen Inuyasha yet, so I like to think I have an uncommon perspective on Ranma, knowing what came before it instead of the other way around. Those works affected Takahashi's choices on Ranma, many of which were good, and subsequently the anime's choices, which were not so good. The reputation I knew the anime had, besides being a classic, was that the first season is incredible, but then it went on for too long, even though it technically didn't last long enough. Others mention how the anime caught up to the manga and had to do lots of filler, but they don't tell you how much filler, and just how quickly that happened. And yet nobody wants to blame Takahashi, but I've seen her do better. I don't think she should be free from criticism. When the remake was announced, I went and analyzed how the original anime adapted the manga, and as an anime only, it was not what I expected at all. This is a chart where each box is one chapter of Ranma. I'm going to fill this in episode by episode to show you how they adapted these chapters. What you're about to see isn't uncommon for adaptations, but it's weird in this case for reasons I'll talk about. This is why Ranma Half is a disaster. <laughs> that went by really fast, but there's just no time to fully untangle that mess. The anime began broadcasting when the manga had 74 chapters out. Convert that to time and you'll see just how little they had. This was a very rushed production, no doubt trying to keep the momentum of Takahashi's prior works, which both at least got finished adaptations. Rama is Takahashi's best-selling work, and her only major work besides Rinne to be left unfinished in animated form. So what happened? It was doing great the first couple of episodes before losing director Mochizuki and rebranding as Netohen. I actually asked Mochizuki, who said the whole point of making the anime was to have Takahashi like it. Which didn't go well, apparently. By the way, thank you, Hayden, for being my point of contact for literally Tomomi Mochizuki. His season is the best part of Rama Half, and everyone knows it. Holy shit. Shigekazu Ochiai was the producer in charge of planning, and he kept criticizing their work. He just didn't like what Mochizuki was making, so they changed staff during the rebrand. And clearly, that was a big mistake. Lots of fans say Rama has no plot, how it's more like a sitcom, but that's not true at all. It consists of multiple story arcs that are interwoven with each other. And the first season of Ranma Half plays into this with how each episode flows into the next. I love how they play the eye catch twice so the end of the episode comes off more like a surprise, making it very bingeable and engaging. Takahashi was fusing the zany comedy of Urusei Yatsura with the developing romance of Meizan Nikoku, together with fresh martial arts action. But unfortunately, Takahashi couldn't have it both ways. In trying to be both, the series ends up with the strengths of neither. I think it's a compromised work. It wants to be wacky and crazy, but they can't just blow up the house because there's continuity. And it's too busy with all the shenanigans to focus on any meaningful progression in their relationship. She ultimately abandoned the latter for the sake of the former, and due to its success, Rama rambled on for longer than either of its predecessors. It's no wonder the anime couldn't even last with a bunch of OVAs released afterwards. But none of that excuses the anime for peeling over so early before the finish line. I have no clue where they got the idea to skip and jump all over the place, and they went way too fast adapting these five, six, seven chapter arcs into a single episode? When Mochizuki left, they were 60 chapters away before catching up, already cutting it close. After the next 21 episodes, they were now 17 chapters away, and they never got further than 20. That's how you wind up with 47% filler, which by the way, going back to adapt something you skipped is another way to stall for time. So I guess that counts as filler too. Thank God they skipped stuff. Some of these arcs break the entire series. I would much rather have these anime original episodes over whatever the fuck Takahashi was doing. And even if they got to the end, it would still end the same way the anime ended with no conclusion at all. 
Anyway, I guess there's a remake coming out. I'm gonna pretend I didn't already watch it. Due to characters like Ukyo being on the cover, it's safe to say the anime intends to reach at least 91 chapters, which took the original about 40 episodes. Without giving it away, the first core does not make it that far, but it is a faster adaptation than the original. That is to say, before the original went too fast. I'm hoping this adaptation can take the whole series in hindsight and trim the fat that Takahashi indulged in, with as little haposai as necessary. I don't see this being a 100% complete adaptation, but maybe it'll at least be a finished adaptation. Even with the first season leaked, it's too early to call how this remake will fare, but if going by the similar stylings and palette is any indication, probably like the last Takahashi remake. Panel for panel to an almost sickening cadence! For as disappointed as I was with Ranma, I'm glad it's getting a remake. Takahashi's best-selling series deserves better than its ending only existing as a pachinko cutscene. This was the short version. To watch the more detailed, thorough, and calmer 27-minute version, please visit my Patreon. I promise the next one will not be as short. Or as negative. Yo, peace.